Come on, green light. Yes. <gasps> oh, no. So, yeah, man, I got these really cool new rads. Awesome! That is totally what you... What's that? Oh, no, Bertie! Not the pier! <laughs> Bertie, I know you're upset, but you must stop driving around with that box on your head. It's too dangerous. But my glasses, Ollie. Everyone will laugh at me. No, they won't, Bertie. Not everyone's as mean as Bazza. Come on, why don't you take off the box? Oh, OK, then. Hey, Bertie, they look really good. They suit you. Oh, you're just saying that. Oh, no, I don't want those guys to see me. Hey, Bertie. Driving around with that box on your head? Not cool, dude. But those glasses, oh man, those are really cool. Really? Do you mean it? You see, Bertie? And they aren't the only ones that think glasses are great. Let me show you. What do you think about glasses, Mick? Well, I need glasses to read my car manuals to help me to do my job better. Miss Tabitha says that lots of children wear them at school. Yes! Some of my best pupils wear glasses. Hey, Sir Ronald, what do you think of Bertie's new look? Bertie, you look very businesslike. How do you fancy a top-level management position at my company? Great! I'll swing by on Monday. And Percy loves glasses too. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'd be where I am today without my superstar specs. Here, Ollie. I've been looking for you everywhere. Football, remember? Ahem. <clears throat> I think you owe someone an apology, Bazza. Oh, um, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Bertie. I didn't really mean what I said. Those glasses really suit you. Yeah. And it's an old family recipe. Extra butter in the pastry. Yeah, that's the secret. Here you are, Bazaar, a worthy winner. Two tickets to stay at my hotel and as much ice cream as you can eat. So, uh, who are you going to take with you, Bazaar? Eh? Oh, take me, take me! Not so fast, Susie. I've known him since he was a nipper. Well, it depends who's going to be my best mate. You'll have to work hard for this ticket. <laughs> Oh, listen to this. There's a chocolate fountain in every room at this hotel. Oh, chocolate? My favourite. Um, is there anything I can do for you, Bazza, old mate? Nah, you're all right. I think I'm sorted, mate. Well, I know it's not your birthday, but I've got a little present for you. Engine oil, eh? Huh, not just any old oil, Bazza. It's been matured for 18 years in rusty barrels. Well, put it there with the rest of them. Guys, guys, I'm hungry. Who's going to fetch me some lunch? I'm on it, Bazza. Your most helpful friend is at your service. <laughs> I know where Bazza goes to get his favourite food. <laughs> He's sure to pick me. Hi, Bessie. Now, what does Bazza like to eat more than anything? Usually it's jam roly-poly, but yesterday he bought my cheese pie. Made to an old family recipe, you know. Hang on. Cheese pie, you say? An old family recipe, you say? Hmm, I think Bazza's got some explaining to do. 
Now, Baz, I'm tired of your bedroom and I've washed your spare tires. You're definitely gonna pick me, right? Haven't decided yet, Suze. Everyone's just been so nice to me. I love it. I'm Baz, uh, just strutting my stuff and I just can't get enough. I'm Baz, uh, coolest fan around, got the hottest ticket in this town. Honk if you hear me. Ba 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 ba. Yeah! I'm Baz, uh, you want a piece of me? I'm top of the tree. I'm Baz, uh, I'm ahead of the game. Come on, just say my name. It's Barry, isn't it? <laughs> Honk if you hear me. Ba 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 ba. Yeah! I'm Bazza. I'm super fly, cos I'm king of the pie. I'm Bazza. Ticket going for free. What have you got for me? How about a cheese pie, Bazza? Uh, um. Bazza! Did you enter Bessie's pie into the competition? Yes, Chef. It just got out of hand. See, I really wanted these tickets. But you'll have to give the tickets to the real winner. What? Who? Bessie, of course. After polishing off me sardine lasagna, they started on me cake. And then they gobbled all that down too. And as you can hear, I don't think they're feeling too good. Too much cake. Oh, blazing bonfires. We need two replacement firefighters, and we need them quick. Hey, Royston, I could lend a wheel or four. And I could lend a hand or two. Oh, brilliant idea. Come on, let's get you boyos fitted out. Stan, report him for duty. Can I test out my water jet, Royston? Oh, be my guest, Ollie. Be my guest. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry about it, Ollie. But perhaps we should do a bit of training first, eh? Behold, the Super Jet Fire Simulator 3000. To pass this test, you must squirt down all of the fire targets. Kevin, water on, please. <laughs> Let's try that again, Stan. Rose, if you could lend a hand. Yes, boss. I think we did it. Boys, what can I say? You were super. Woo! Wake up, everyone! Go, go, go! There's trouble at the farm, boys! Right behind you, Royston! Fire! There's a fire! Fire! <laughs> oh, the fire's on fire! Right, oh, boys, we gotta tackle this fire as a team. Everyone ready on my mark? Go! <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> What's the story here, Meg? Oh, my precious Crocky. It's up there, look. It's stuck in that drain pipe. Should we use the ladders and go to him, or the giant cushion and get him to come to us? I've got an idea. One big deep breath and... <gasps> Gotcha. Oh, thanks so much, Ollie. Morning, Susie. You seem full of energy. What's your secret? There's no secret, honey. Start your day with a dance, and you'll keep moving all day. You're right, Susie. And that gives me a great idea. Okay, everyone, let's shake off the morning shivers. Move left. One, two, a groove right. Three, four, spin around and we'll do it once more. Oh, sorry, pussycat. Born with four left tires, I was. Phew, 
I think we're pretty warmed up. And you're really getting the hang of it, too. Well, I am. I'm not sure the rest of this lot are made to move so smooth. Oh, leave it out, Bazza. It's just a bit of fun. I know. I'm just saying I'm the best dancer ever. Ever. Well, then, I've got another idea. Let's settle this on the dance floor. <laughs> it's a dance-off! Bazza versus Jethro! Uh-oh! Yeah! Ooh! Beat that! Come on, Jethro, you can do it! <laughs> oh! I've put me back out! Bazza versus Royston! <laughs> One, two, one, two, three. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Bowser versus Ollie. Go on, Ollie, you can do it. Oh, yeah. Woo, dance. Hey. Oh, go on, dance. Watch this. Hey. And Ollie's the dance-off winner! It's not about winning, it's about everyone having fun. And now we're warmed up and ready for the day. Yay! Yay! Same time tomorrow! You bet, Ollie! Thanks, Ollie, that was smashing! Yay! Um, hello? Little help here? Anyone? Come on, Jethro. I know I don't look my age, Ollie, but I'm an old tractor now. You're a great tractor, Jethro. But Milford's even got a CD player. I can't compete with that. Hey, I've got an idea, Jethro. Uh, I'll be back soon. Jump in, Stan. We've got a friend to help. Let's go. Beep, beep. Right, Milford, we need to round up these here sheep and take them back to the farm for their monthly bath. Now, which one to press? There's so many. Jethro only has two buttons and one of them to work. Milford, do you know how to round up sheep? There's an instruction booklet under the seat. <laughs> Didn't you read it first? Word. Right. Sheep. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Oh, I can't find anything about sheep. What about this one? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no, maybe not. Steady, steady boy. Oh, 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 stop! Oh, I can't wait till Jethro sees what we've got him. He'll be so excited. What in Bumpton's going on here? Hey? Ollie, fetch Jethro! Quickly! <laughs> oh, Jethro, am I glad to see you. That tractor was out of control. The sheep are all terrified. Do you think you could help round them up, old pal? Of course, Dan. Rounding sheep up isn't about speed technology or flashing lights. It's about teamwork. Come on, Ollie. Let's get to work. Here come, boy. Beep, beep, sheep. Well, I'm glad that's all over. I can't see what all the fuss is about with these modern tractors. Although I must admit, it was right marvellous having a CD player. It's not just modern tractors that have them, Dan. Take a look at Jethro. 
Wow! It's a CD player! Come on, Dan. Let's get these sheep back to the farm. And here's our match referee, Stan. Ready, everyone? To be my proudest day. Hard luck, my friend. I'll take it down the other end. No, I'll do it. I've been out of my way. To win the Bunton Cup, we'll need a lot of luck to show our skill to Skiddy and Bray. You'll never stop me now. I'm going to show you how to score a goal. I'm going to score this time, Molly. Oh, you watch. Look out, Jethro. Pass the ball. To win the boxing cup, we'll need a lot of luck to show our skill and football in flair. You'll never stop me now. I'm going to show you how to score a goal. He shoots. It's there. FC Barcelona lead 1-0 at half-time. I don't understand it. I've been trying so hard. I'm just not good enough. Oh, don't be silly, Jethro. We just need a new game plan. Can I help, my friends? You need to play it quick, then slow. Then even slower, then really quick. You see, football is a really simple game. He's right, Jethro. Football is a simple game. We just need to pass the ball. What we need is teamwork. Let's play, Manchester. Game on! And the second half gets underway. Jethro! Good control from Jethro, but what will he do now? Ollie! Jethro passes the ball to Ollie. Ollie shoots from long range. It's a goal! Ollie scores for Manchester United. It's one all. Great goal, Ollie. At the restart, it's all to play for. Pass it back, Baza. Nah, I can score from here. Great save from Susie. <laughs> it's a penalty and a red card for Baza. He's been sent off. Are you okay, Ollie? I'm all right. Good luck with the penalty. Well, I was just about to say the same thing to you. Me? I can't do it. Yes, you can, Jethro. Go for it. This will be the last kick of the game. Can Jethro score? up again, Jethro. All day? How's everyone going to hear my mighty radio show now? Ooh. Hey, I think I can help. How do you feel about a radio roadshow? Mega! Oh, this is mega, Ollie. My radio show's on the moon, man. Yeah! Let's give Bumpton a radio roadshow they'll never forget. DJ Don and MC Ollie are on the move. Get up, get down, get into the groove. We're bringing music on to the street. Jump left, jump right, and jump to the beat. My radio station was taken down. So we're bringing you the music round the town. We'll play the tunes. And we'll take requests. Then play some jazz. You know I like that best. It's DJ Don. Let's dance. MC Ollie, let's go. Let's 
Stan? Um, it's just nerves. <laughs> yeah! Oh. oh! Oh, I'm not in the tree! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Yes, yes, he's going in the hole! What? Oh! <laughs> Great birdie, Stan. Oh, Ollie, my game's terrible today. What can I do? Hey, Stan, you're down, but not out of the game. Just focus on making one good shot at a time. Take a deep breath. OK, here I go. Ah, it's heading for the trees. Eh? Ah, yes! A hole in one. Wow! Hey! Shot. Oh, you're meant to be on my side, Sandy. OK, it's the last hole stand, and you're tied for the lead with Sir Ronald. We'll see about that. This putt's easy. Oh, how pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy! Sorry, sir. Now's your chance, Stan. Hold this putt and you win. Right then. Yay! Yeah, you did it, Stan! Oh, I couldn't have done it without your help, Holly. Thank you. And better luck next time, Sir Ronald. Sir Ronald? Sandy! Come back, you! You lost me the game! I take it back. <laughs> Sorry, Sandy. <laughs> 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 